the Acoustic Shop channel. I am John today with my good, my good. I'm a dude. I'm, I'm a good dude. Acquaintance, Jackson. Hey, it's <laughs> great to be friends, best friends with John. I love being best friends with him. We're, he treats me so well. Anyway, Jackson is here today. We're going to be talking about Ferk guitars and, in particular, this Vintage 2D. Oh yes. Vintage D2. Vintage Dread 2, Vintage of... Vintage, vintage 2D. 2D. Okay, that's what we're going to talk about right after this. So here we are, back one more time. Going to be talking about this fur guitar. Before we do that, I do want to invite you guys, if you like our videos, and even if you don't, even if you just want to come see Jackson every once in a while, yeah. please make sure to subscribe, hit that little bell button. That way you're notified every time we have a new video up and then you can choose whether you want to watch it. Absolutely. It's your Guys, choice, the but... more likes I get on the videos that I'm on, <laughs> the more times I will be here. Yeah. So it'll wow. prove John wrong, okay? Wow. <laughs> well, I wonder, wrong. I wonder how this will turn out. <laughs> I wonder if we get, if, what we will get happen now. if we get a bunch of dislikes on this, I'm blaming John. <laughs> it's John's fault. It's me just sitting there randomly. It's, <laughs> it's John on a billion different accounts disliking this. Anyways, video. as always, if you'd like to hear a complete song uh, of what we did on the intro, you can also check that out. There's a link for it down here in the comments. And also, if you'd like to not listening listen to the ramblings of me and Jackson, you can skip all the way to the end where we'll have a tone sample of this guitar. So, but guys, there's a big surprise in the middle so you'll yes. want to watch the entire it's, thing and up our algorithm it is it's a huge a surprise. surprise it's there's gonna be explosions back here no there's it's gonna not. be there's, it's gonna be crazy there's not. it's gonna be sick there will be none of that anyway uh jackson back actually here's the best part about this we are actually going to be talking about jackson's favorite guitar in the shop and what i love about I love this it. is we wouldn't even let him play it on the video nope i'm not allowed <laughs> to look at it i have to look into the camera not the guitar <laughs> It, it is. Um, we actually got a vintage one in right after uh, he started working at the yep. shop. He is like, man, I really love that guitar. And then <sighs> guess what we did? We sold it. We sold it. We sold it to a person who I'm sure is just so happy with it. That guitar was so great. Was. Fur and guitars then, are just incredible. Then, ever since then, he's complained about how he loves that guitar. <laughs> and then uh, we went to the NAMM show in summer NAMM and actually picked this guitar from their show. This is a wow. show guitar right here, which is the Vintage 2. A couple of upgrades on that. Yes. And Jackson, what do you think so far? Honestly, I have to say I'm loving the upgrades. Really? I love the upgrades to this guitar. There are just a few things that set it apart, okay? Now, you, you, I believe you get upgraded tuners on this one. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's correct. You do get upgraded wood quality. It goes from their double A to their triple A. On the and back those and sides of you guys and top. who love baseball know double A team different than a triple A team. That's very and true. Major League. I um, know nothing about baseball. <laughs> I won't pretend to know anything about baseball. I'm not even going to pretend I really know all that. I'm much. just going to say he's right about that. <laughs> I don't actually know, guys. But the thing I love about the FERC guitars that we get in, the factory setup is incredible. I absolutely love it. John, I don't think, is a huge fan of low action like me. I'm an electric player. Don't let John know. But I play a lot of electric guitars and I love a low action on my guitars. But this one, man, it plays so, it's just, it, it's like it plays itself. You can do all that crazy stuff. You can do all that two-handed stuff on it. Nobody I don't. Nobody should do that. Nobody should do that. It's actually <laughs> illegal in the state of Missouri to do that. So you can't do that. No, so. so with all guitars, let's, <laughs> let's take a step back. And he is uh, correct. The setups on these guitars is a little bit lower than most standards, especially for Dreadnoughts. Love it, though. Um, oh, it's so good. Well, th that's great. And I, I agree with you. And, but that's our point. Everybody talks about setups and what they love. And this is a key point here. For me, I play very heavy. I'm a He's heavy a heavy-handed picker. And I can make things buzz that probably shouldn't buzz. Yes. Um, where you come, like you said, from more of an electric I side. I am a light a picker. Light, light touch kind of player. Yes. Um, so here's what we do. At the shop, we try to put every guitar into spec 
of what the manufacturer was going for. So when they do set this up, if you are more of a player that wants that low action, that would be what we'd have it set up for. Now again, we do this and make sure it's always in spec with yes. every guitar that we uh, ship out. Now if you were to call, call us and say, hey, I love that guitar, but I played some of their guitars before, set it's a little bit low for us, you know what, I could probably raise it. Yeah. If, on the other hand, you get one of our other guitars that normally has a higher setup than what you're used to. We can also fix that. Fix that. So that kind of addresses some of that shipping questions that a lot of people have of the free setup. I have an issue with that. We've talked about this before, I think, and now Jackson gets to listen to me ramble a little bit. Yeah. But here's the problem with a oh, yeah. free setup with every guitar. Every one of you, every person that is watching this video right now has a different idea of what the perfect ideal setup is. So what we try to make sure is done is what the manufacturer was planning and wanted to get out of their guitar. Yes. That's what we want to redo. And it's automatically how we double check the setups and make sure that they are in that factory setup before they ship. Definitely. Now again, if you want something different, please let us know we can make that happen. Hit so, us up with numbers. We love, we love numbers. If you have a number you want us to get to. Five. Um, you want five? You want six? We could do six, all right? We could at least do a six for you, all right? But no, for real. If you have specific numbers that you want us to get to, on um, you want this low on the 12th sure. fret, on the low E, we can do that. All you got to okay. do is either call us, message us, or do whatever Thanks you want to do, email us. Contact us in whatever way you want. Sometimes I recommend even when you get a guitar, play with it for a little bit while because it may be different than what you're used to, but you may find benefits. It and might, it might. You I might end up liking it that way. I know way. we're totally going, but I actually find this to be really important. We're going off track of this yeah, guitar. Yeah, yeah. It's but tangents, I do find this it's fine. To be important. I will tell you this, and everybody uh, in the setup world or luthier world will, I'm pretty sure, agree with this. The lower you set up your guitar, the less volume you're going to get. That's true. The less fullness and roundness that you're going to get that's out of true. that overall tone. That's true. It has to do with a combination of string height as well as tension and break angles and mm -hmm. all kinds of good stuff that, that happens with different action setups. So sometimes you may be used to going, hey, it's a little bit stiff for me, but man, that tone I get, maybe it's worth kind of pushing it a little bit. Yeah. Um, and vice versa. Playability, if you're used to that big tone, but you'd like it to feel a little bit easier to play, we can lower it just a hair. Yeah, just sit closer to the mic like I do. I sit really <laughs> close to the mic to match his tone. So there you go. There you go. You can't match my tone. Nobody uh, wants to match my tone. That's if, true. If I were that's you, I would actually work really, really hard at not matching my tone. Yeah, I, you know, that's fair. That's yeah, I, but vice versa, though. You can't match my tone either. Yeah. You can't I try force too. yourself to play super <laughs> light. <laughs> and bad. <laughs> anyway, we should get back to talking about the okay, bass guitar. Yes, let's let's Great get back guitar, on track. Okay, rosewood sides and back, Sika yes. spruce top. Yes, this has one of those millimeter measurements. In it's the, a med, it's a metric uh, sized nut, which is fine. But guys, what it's does that just, actually equal out? To? So it's, it's forty five millimeters. Forty five millimeters. It's just a hair bigger than an inch and three quarter. Just a little bit. So you know what? I'm gonna call it an inch and three quarter. It's fair. That's, that's fair. Gonna... It's a little over that, but it's fair. You can say that. Just know that it's around there, all right? All the vintage series have the uh, hand brushed finish, which is- I love that. It is a, like a softer satiny type finish, but it's not really a satin finish, where most it's, are like two yeah. or three quick sprays yeah. of the finish. This one is just kind of like a matted, glossy finish. It's not like a sticky gloss, you know? And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with like a full gloss or anything. I just found that I really, really like the hand brush finishes on the vintage series. I actually really, really love the way it feels. I love the way it sounds. I think that uh, it's just an overall great looking standard dread guitar. I think they do a fantastic job with their vintage series. I, I like it as well. Um, again, like all fur guitars, this does have the CNR system. We have discussed that multiple times here on the channel. That is their carbon reinforced adjustable mm -hmm. truss rod. Uh, so it's very, very stable, yet you can also continue to adjust it if it does move. Because if there's one thing I've learned about guitars, they will move. Even no, if you that, have that neck steel will flop or around whatever in there, it will move. So there's got to be something in there to kind of combat some of that a little bit. So yes, it is stable with a carbon rod. 
but it is also still adjustable. So yeah. that is very, very cool. Love um, that. Again, like you said, compared to the Vintage One, some upgrades, the triple A grade. Mm -hmm. It is Indian Rosewood sides and back, Sitka Spruce top. So triple grade grade on that. Bound fretboard and bound love, peg head. Oh, I love that so much, And too. it has the upgraded tuners that are uh, more of a, mm. like a vintage brass color uh, on that. Um, like I said, overall, a really nice guitar. For you bluegrass fans out there, definitely one that you can do. You probably will raise the action. Probably. You know, just honestly, but try it. Try it as try it, it is, though, because it's great, all right? Take, take my word for it. It's great. No matter what, Jackson says it's great. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, no, you're right. You might you might want to raise it a little bit. Just, I mean, this particular one. They don't all come in at the same. I mean, they're not always they're pretty close. this low, but they're pretty close. I mean, they're... They feel great to play. There's a lot of resonance with this low action. I'm very surprised at that. There's still a lot of projection at this low action. So I think that's the thing that impressed me the most. I would say for a Dreadnought, if you're the kind of player that there are a lot of the bluegrass flat picker type guys that are actually paying attention to FERC and are picking these up. Uh, there's a, quite a few on the road right now. But I think it's one of those versatile dreads. And mm -hmm. I think that's what draws you to it is the fact that it can be and any style dread. Yeah. If you're more of a uh, a rocker that that plays a little bit of stuff, true, you, it's a great dread for you. If you're totally. a finger picker that wants a bigger body guitar, this is a great guitar for you. So lots of sustain, lots of extra punch, life, yeah. uh, just an overall really good guitar that is yeah. very very versatile. It's a it's a very like I don't know. There's an elegant simplicity to the aesthetics too. Like it's a simple looking guitar. But the things I love about it are just so simple. The bound peg head, the bound fretboard. Like, it's, they're little tiny things that I love about it so much, but I love the look of that though. I there think it just looks and sounds just great. I love it. I agree with you. I think this is one that you should definitely put on your uh, list to check out. Fur guitars are doing some amazing things. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, check it out. So just after this, we're gonna get you a tone set. Appreciate you guys watching that video. It was my favorite it's one we've made so far. Best we've, we've done hundreds of videos, and that was the best one. It was. And the next one's gonna be even better. If you'd like <laughs> to see that, be sure you subscribe to this channel. And also, the more you comment and inter interact below, the more the YouTube algorithms pick it up and start pushing it out to other people, like minded people. Algorithms? Algorithms, they're everywhere. They permeate the internet, and YouTube's got one. And it watches our videos, and it sees how much you comment, and then it pushes us to other people like you. And we want everyone to experience the Acoustic Shop world where we talk about instruments, we do reviews, we got some fun videos coming up. We thank you guys so much for being a part of it and we'll see you in the next video.